I'm home from work. And now I'm heating up my chicken and dumplings. Yum. Leftovers rule. They rule. It smells so good too. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. So good. Mm. Yeah, I'd say that's warm enough. This gets a little soggy, but it's okay. To be expected. Add some seasoning to it, grab some tea, and edit yesterday's vlog. Okay, so the uploading of my most recent vlog has completed, and... Yeah, we're good there. So I was checking out some news articles on the Xbox One. Yes, I'm going to talk about the Xbox One. Um, what do you think about it? It's pretty intense that Microsoft is actually sinking a billion dollars worth into this next gen of games. I don't know right now. I mean, it's like... I know I'm going to need it eventually, but the whole idea of the cloud storage and not being able to get a used game basically unless you play for it unless they've announced otherwise and I just didn't hear that announcement that's just insane to me as a collector as you know <coughs> um, it makes it more difficult because it's like alright and well on top of that then it's like the Xbox is only is it a cloud storage I mean I guess I gotta do more research on it but my impression that I was given was that it is you put in the disc, it installs to the hard drive, and that's it. You don't have to put in the disc again, but it's installed to the hard drive of the Xbox. So it's like, does that take up space? Or is it on a cloud, like Steam? I love Steam. You know why I love Steam? This is why. I'll show you right here. I will open up my Steam. You can add me on Steam if you want. I'm Omega underscore Apex 128. But this is why I like Steam. Look at this. Look at this, right here. Look how many games I have. So many. They're not all installed on my computer right now. But look how many games I have. Oh, it's so many. Oh, it's so many. Oh, it's so many. Ooh, Poker Night. That's a fun one. Portal and Portal 2, of course. I have to install Dota, too. Um, I was told to install this, and yeah, I've got friends who play it. I forget when I got it or if I got it as a gift or something like that, but I've never played Dota 2. I honestly don't know what it is. Let me install it right now. It's going to take a while for it to install, so I'm not going to bother with it or anything like that, but... Why not? <laughs> There's so many games on here I haven't even played. I have Dead Island. I forgot about that. Um, Half-Life 2. Forgot about that. Um, ooh, L.A. Noir. I need to play that one. Now that I have this new video card in my computer that I bought from Chris, I really need to just because, you know, I'd be taking advantage of it. I was able to play Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City quite well um, because... Um, because the video card just enhanced it. My Windows rating on it was like a 5.4, now it's like a 7.9. So, yeah, I needed a new graphics card. Um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, let me think here. Let me know what other games I should get. And if you don't have a Steam, get a Steam. Add me, I'm Omega underscore Apex 128. Um, the only other game that I could think off the top of my head that you should get if you don't have it is League of Legends, Omega Apex 128 there, no underscore, but League of Legends is another one you should get. Um, what do you think I should get? If you didn't know, there's this thing out there called Humble Bundle. Um, you go to humblebundle.com, humble and basically you can just donate money, um, and you get a bunch of games. It's, well, it's it's always different. They might have a, a pack of Android apps. They might have games that you get through Steam. But basically, you know, you can donate. There's there's like a minimum donate amount to get a certain amount of games. But, you, you know, you donate five bucks, you get like eight games. Sometimes. <laughs> so, I mean, if you don't know about Humble Bundle, look into that. That's a good one. But, yeah. If they're going to do something like Steam... I guess I could get down with that, because technically the com the games aren't on my computer. I'm just now, Dota 2 for instance, I have it, but I'm just now installing it on my hard drive. It's there. My only concern would be, what happens when things crash? What happens if the cloud crashes? Where does all my data go? It's gone. That's, hmm, that's my only gripe. I'm always afraid it's going to be gone somehow, some way. 
probably don't need to be concerned about it, but I am. <laughs> Why you gotta make fun of me? <laughs> Bye <Bi> curious. <laughs> You're so mean. Hello? Legends. Burning DVDs. <clears throat> play on your lap? Oh never mind. <laughs> I can play on my laptop. You just can't use Skype. You can still play on your computer. Screw Skype on Windows 8! Okay, so here's my place in Minecraft. Um, well, several places, actually. <laughs> Alright, so first of all, I played this game online with Jada and Jordan, and I had them build me this diving board. This was pretty cool. They, they basically took it as high as you can possibly go. I was hoping to get it above the clouds, but as it turns out, you can't actually go that high. Um, I'd never played before, so how was I supposed to know? It just takes a while to get up here is all. Whoa, alright. Come on now. Hey! Oh, well, I guess I am as high as the clouds, aren't I? Didn't realize that. But yeah, here it. Oh, yeah, you can barely even see because I'm in the clouds. This cloud needs to go away. Yeah, that's what happens when I'm irritated. Come on! Oh my god, this cloud is so slow. You can hardly see anything. Alright, there we go. Oh! Are are you serious? What, it's gonna be nighttime by the time this cloud goes away, really? Better not. Oh my god, this cloud is like never ending. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump. It's my big diving board, so I am. Okay, so we're going to go over to the first place that I built, which is basically like the first thing that I've ever built, honestly. But yeah, first of all, look at this here. J Jordan built that. It's like a waterfall on the outside. It's pretty cool. Okay, come on in. It's just a random empty room. Oops, I mean to do that. There we go. Random empty room. Go upstairs. There's a bedroom right here. Bookshelf. Nice. Go up the stairs. Another bedroom right in there. And go up the stairs. Nothing here. This is basically where I stopped building. Up the ladder. Woo! Indoor swimming pool. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Up the stairs. There's a toilet apparently. And there's my portal. Yay! And then this goes up to the attic. And then right here we have the balcony. So yay, we have a balcony. Wee! Okay, cool. Can I jump? No? Creative. There we go. Now I can jump. Woo! Into the water. Nice. Oh, look at that. Cow? Cow? What are you doing there, cow? Okay. Um, it's getting close to nighttime. So let me go ahead and give you a tour of this one here. I'm going to back up for a second just so you can see. This is, if you recognize it, Orchard Street. That's right, it's 107. I actually built the house. Amazing, isn't it? So, see, there's the... Get out of my... Get out of the way, pig! Get! So there's the sign right there, 107 Orchard Street, so... What in the world's going on with the door here? There we go. You can... Okay, that's weird. Alright, whatever. Um... You get the porch, you get the window here, and you come in. And I had to change the scale just a little bit because obviously it's Minecraft. But this is exactly what it looked like. You immediately to the left, you had the living room here, and you know, couch, couch. This is where the TV would be normally. Here's a, a sliding glass door right here. It doesn't actually open in the game. I just use panes of glass, but you know, dining room table. There was always like a shelf thing here. Coming to the den, there's where the computer was right there. Uh, there was more windows there as well, but again, the scale. This is a door to the basement, which there is stairs going down, but I never actually did the basement because um, I'm lazy. Here we have the kitchen. Microwave right there. Refrigerator right there. 
and uh, sink right there stove windows this was the laundry room which was added on later and washer dryer cabinets whatever um, and this went the whole way around this hallway right here was never actually here this was this right here is where the original laundry room was right here there was a wall that separated it it's like a closet so we actually opened that up then we go up the stairs here and this right here was like like a little space where we put our dirty laundry but uh, here's the bathroom that's where I poop there this is where I wash my butt there's a sink window come out this was my mom's room why is there a sign there that makes no sense um, her bed she had a TV typically over here she had three closets I don't really understand why but um, this closet right here actually had another door in it and um, we could never open it but I'll show you that in a second this is my brother's room he had a little space there where the toy box was usually at he actually had a bunk bed as well but his closet right there and then there was my room which was right here come in my bed you had a TV book you know desk right there all that good stuff and my closet that's where the other door was which again we never actually could open but you know that's how it would have worked basically um, the only other thing missing is that right here above my room like right well there in the ceiling um, would have been an entrance to the attic that's pretty much the only thing and then come out well it's too dark let me let me make it daylight hang on a second okay so it's daylight again um, so let me show you what I did outside come out here go around the side pig pick it on my way and this is our side deck here and nice little gate pig in the way again get out of my way pig and that came to the backyard just like that and that's a fair representation I would say of what the house actually does look like if you were to ever go to 107 Orchard Street in Franklin Pennsylvania that's pretty much it I don't live there anymore I don't know who lives there or anything like that but yeah pretty cool um, yeah we had the trampoline back here it, was, it would have been somewhere it would have been about right here um, over there about where the tree is actually um, there was a gas building but yeah and yeah like I said the scales definitely off I mean it wasn't the deck wasn't this long or anything like that but it had to be compensated so Minecraft and then you come over here and this was my old apartment right here right next door to 107 but technically not one next door see apartment A10 right there so this is this is the place I lived in before I moved in with Chris you'll recognize it you should recognize it anyway scale is a little bit off but it's not as bad come right here there you go kitchen refrigerator stove oops you want to do that um, sink kinda shelves we had the closet right here and a little walk-in closet there immediately we had the fireplace of course my entertainment system was there my couch was there and um, obviously you know I had the posters on the wall of course of all my video games and that's where my video games would have been right there coming to my bedroom and once again I'd say it's a pretty fair representation of what my room actually looked like um, at the apartment overall I'd say you know bathroom right in here tub toilet sink yeah so you know I'd say it looks pretty darn good for for what it is I mean especially when I'm like here on the bed I mean it just looks like my room Minecraft is just so incredibly amazing and then you come out and it's like yep there's the you know the fences and all that good stuff I mean it's it's pretty fair representation I would say yeah the chimney 
So yeah, that's basically what I've done with my time recently. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say I've spent a ton of time on it or anything like that, but I mean, it was a good way to enjoy my weekend. And, and yeah, so there's just, you know, one random house right there that I built. Uh, but then there's Orchard Street and there's the old apartment right there. So it's pretty interesting to see, you know, what I went to, what I went to from where I was. Um, and I'd like to build more houses as far as like my current house, maybe the one from DuPont, maybe the one in Germany. That'd be a, that'd be a challenge right there. Trying to remember that from memory. I mean, the the Orchard Street house was kind of a challenge, uh, trying to remember that one, but, I mean, I think the one from Germany would be more difficult. Um, but, yeah, that's, yeah. It's an Omegalonia, and then we drop down in the water. Woo-hoo-hoo! Boy, that would have been a pretty good good night, too, but, oh, well. All right. I'm going go underneath the tree and enjoy I am. Look at that. I just mined a tree with a potion. Good job. Good for me. Well, it was a good day today. Um, lots of work done and lots of gaming done. Uh, I got some DVDs burned for a co-worker, so I'm going to be glad to give those to him tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Um, and mm, yeah, I'm tired. Tomorrow's Friday. It's an early day for training and everything. And then we have Saturday, and that's it. Vacation. I can't believe it's finally here. I did decide that I'm gonna take my camera with me. Not you, obviously, but I mean, but also my my main camera. Shoot, not my main camera. The Canon, the Rebel. Um, to actually take some pictures and stuff like that. Decent pictures. So, take that with me too. And, uh, laptop will be with me. I'll be able to edit on the road. It's one of the main reasons I got this laptop. This one right here. Was so that way I'd actually be able to edit. Because, I mean, I could edit with the old laptop when I went to Christmas in Philadelphia. But, um, I couldn't really do a whole lot as far as the editing was concerned. Even trying to put in transitions that would dissolve and fade and stuff like that was uh, something that basic was too difficult for the laptop to handle this laptop right here is actually more powerful than my desktop is um, as far as the internals are concerned but nice so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and head to bed now um, get some vlogs edited and upload for you tomorrow It'll be a good day. See you in the morning. Good night. How long?